what's up everybody we're about to jump into the video but before we do real quick do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop a comment share the video if you care to really helps us a lot with the channel gets it out actually picks up on the algorithm and seriously we appreciate it more than you know also check out my mentor his uh, YouTube channel should be up here in the corner. If not, it'll be down in the description. He's the one doing all the extraction, mentoring us during the extractions of the Monocle Cobra Venom. Be sure to check him out. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Everyone in this lab is strictly Monocle Cobras, Naya Kautia. As you can see here, beautiful specimen, beautiful monocle on the back of the hood there. These guys, as they're opened up, as the tubs are open, between extractions, between feedings, between tub cleanings, they're not so sure what's going on. So they pop out hooded up, they pop out kind of defensive, unsure of what's going on until they get out. Once you do get them out, every now and then when you're with a partner, they'll notice you, they'll notice your partner, and they'll hood up like that, stand up on the hook. Beautiful display of them, as you can see the light through the skin of the hood there. We go ahead during uh, cleanings, we just pull them out one by one, pop them in the barrel, get that tub clean, pop them back in. As you can see, we got a little bit of a mess in the front there. So getting this guy out, he's one of our bigger ones. We do have plenty bigger than him. Still a decent sized monocle cobra. Very squirmy, okay? You will notice that cobras will spin on you very quickly. They'll pop right out that hook very quickly. It is very easy for them to do as a lapid. So it takes some training, it takes some progress, it takes some learning. And once you do it, once you figure it out, you kind of get it. Now, as you can see here, I didn't have the Cobra on the proper direction I wanted to to get in that tub, so I'll go ahead and set them on the ground. Setting the Cobras on the ground like this actually helps them keep a little more secure, makes them feel a little more uh, confident in themselves so they're actually secured on the ground. And I can just rework that hook, get a proper hooking on that animal to get it back into its home. And he tried to go up into the, the, the lid there, but no problem. Right yeah, back into the That's home, the, right uh, back to the, the dark A7 of the tub, floor. and boom, inside. As you can see, hooded up, kind of unsure of what's going on. Tubs opening up for the first time in a week and then the first time in five days. Um, they're trying to figure out what exactly is going on. In this situation, I go ahead and open the tub a little more just to uh, be able to visibly see the animal in the back as I go to pull a coil to tail the animal. Now this is one of the ways we will utilize our tools to get this animal out of the tub is by grabbing a coil to get the tail. Another is, is grabbing it from the first third to half of the body and lifting it directly up to get a hold of that tail. But as you can see, this guy's a little feisty. He's wanting to hood up, see what's going on with the camera, see what's going on with our, our cameraman. Tub clean, water bowl clean, fresh water. Going ahead and uh, pull him back out of the barrel. Holding receptacle and grab that tail. Like I said, center half of the body, lift it up, grab the tail. Utilizing our hook. He's like, right into the tub, right back in. So you can see everyone wants to know what's going on when you open that tub. They're a little defensive, they're a little unsure. This specimen right here always tries to kind of dip to the back of the, the rack. So you gotta grab that tail real quick and trust me, You've never seen someone tail a cobra as fast as you have when they try to dip to the back. As you can see there, very springy animal, can spring right back on you, and that was slow. Trust me, that was slow. These cobras can sling back on you very quick, like a spring faster than you expect. So understanding the unwell of this animal, of the species, is something very serious. And an unwell is a German term you will hear Tom Crutchfield utilize constantly, okay? And Ooh, for good was, reason, as you can see, this specimen buddy. right here was in shed actually, so she was striking at the camera. She picked up the movement of that camera. Don't worry, our cameraman was using a long uh, gimbal to hold back about three and a half feet from anywhere near that edge of the lens. But again, the term I'm well, German term, means to understand an organism's perception of reality. Now by understanding an organism's perception of reality takes some serious humbling it takes some lack of ego to really understand something as a cobra or a croc monitor or really any animal for that perception. So when you get it and you've been around these animals long enough, you understand how they operate, how their defense mechanisms are, 
how their flight or fight senses are and their natural born instincts. You can start to really work with these animals on a perceptive level that people don't think is really possible and or people are scared of. As you can see here, my mentor Ray Hunter is extracting a relatively large amount of venom out of uh, Nipper there. Nipper is his name, the Cobra. <laughs> uh, you can guess why, he's not the funnest guy. But um, these animals, as dangerous as they are, as venomous as they are, to give a basic venom concoction breakdown, they're very neurotoxic venom. Uh, the neurotoxicity of their venom will shut down your diaphragm, your heart, your brain, your breathing, and essentially cause you paralysis. Within that venom is also a cytotoxin, very similar to a hemotoxin, which will rot your flesh away, okay? These guys are no joke. Drop for drop, more venomous than a king cobra. Now, a king cobra has a much larger yield of venom, which is given, and that's why the toxicity level happens to be different, but drop for drop, this animal's venom is more toxic and more dangerous. As you've seen Ray here do um, in the in the past clip, he does every once in a while like to just go ahead and free grab a cobra if it's open for it. It's something he's very skilled in. Ray's been doing this for over three and a half decades. It's nothing for anyone to try without expertise and proper mentorship out of a professional. Do not ever grab a venomous snake behind the head three rules of Tom Crutchfield, and I'll name them like I hear them every day because I do. Do not ever service a cage or open a cage without a snake hook. Do not open that cage, do not close that cage with a venomous snake in that cage without using a tool. Do not ever, second, service a cage with a venomous snake in that cage. Always, always withdraw that animal place it into a proper holding receptacle and then service the cage without anything in it, okay? Put it back, close the cage with a hook, good to go, you're following both rules. Rule number three and his final rule, do not ever pin a snake or grab a venomous snake behind the head ever without 100% honest expertise and pure professionalism taught to you by a mentor. As you can see here, Ray does extractions. He does on occasion teach the right student how to do extractions properly. Unless you have a mentor like this, never attempt to grab a venomous snake behind the head. And those are the three rules of Tom Crutchfield. So here at this point, you'll see Ray's been doing some extractions and placing snakes in an empty tub area uh, for us trainees and apprentices to be able to open said tub, remove snake, and place it back into its home. So that's what we're doing in scenarios like that. This collection was captive, born, and bred by Tom with his own animals, own cobras, monocles, and we're U.S. captive, born, and bred for this Venom Lab. The one you just seen removed and the section of that wall in this video actually came from Carl Barden. That might be a familiar name because he was recently featured on Coyote Peterson's Venom Extraction video, which he was in Deland, Florida for. Carl's a friend of Tom's and a friend of Ray's, so we yeah, were able to work out a trade with him. 